Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World again. Thanks for stopping by and just remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, feel free to take a look at some of my other BF4 videos if you like. You can find them all in a playlist in the description down below. But anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at another theme loadout for BF4, this time inspired by the Italian Incasori Special Forces. And this idea was suggested by Linux88 in the comments of my last episode, so thanks heaps for the idea man and I hope you can forgive my pronunciation. If any of you other guys have a theme you'd like me to check out for next episode, then feel free to leave it in the comment section below. But just remember, I don't have time to check out every single loadout, so make sure you come up with something fun and unique and there's a good chance I'll give it a look. Now to kick off, I should mention that normally in this series I try and focus on specific units, but when I started doing some research for this video, I found that Incasori is more of a generic term. And what I mean by this is that it basically refers to all Italian Special Forces, kind of like how Spetsnaz refers to all Russian Special Forces. In fact, it literally translates into English as Raiders, which is a term often used around the world to describe various commando units. But it's important to remember that although many Italian SOF units share this name, they aren't necessarily all the same, and they do have their own very different roles. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to take a look at all of these units, but I think the most important one to mention is the 9th Parachute Assault Regiment. And that's because they're basically like Italy's equivalent of the British SAS, focusing on reconnaissance and direct action missions behind enemy lines. Like the SAS, their origins also date back to World War II, and since then they've been deployed to conflicts all around the world, including Afghanistan and Iraq. And that's because, like their British counterparts, they're also trained to operate in all environments. So as a result, their operators are some of the best in the world. Now, another unit that shares a similar role to the 9th Parachute Regiment is the 17th Stormo Incasori of the Italian Air Force. And this unit is also an airborne direct action unit, but the main difference is that they also act as pathfinders and carry out combat controller and JTAC roles. In addition to this, the Italian Air Force also fields a special helicopter wing known as the 9th Stormo Francesco Baracca, which I guess you could best compare to the 160th SOAR of the US Air Force in that their primary role is to support the operations of all the other various SOF units. And finally, last but not least, I should mention that to complement all of these airborne units, the Italian Navy also fields its own special forces. And probably the most well known of these is the Gruppo Operativo Incasori, which are better known simply as the GOI. This unit is kind of like the US Navy SEALs in that although they're often deployed on land, they mainly have a focus on naval and coastal operations. And part of this role involves extensive dive training, as well as the operation of various watercraft, including silent mini submarines. Now, as for the loadout itself, well, as you can see, I'm using the standard issue weapons of the Italian Special Forces, the AR-160 and the M9. Also, as for gadgets, I'm running the med bags and defibs, and to round out the loadout, I'm running with the RGO grenades and the defensive perk. So all in all, I think this setup is a pretty decent take on the classic assault medic, which I must admit is not a role that I play very often. Which isn't to say that it's a role I don't like, it's just that I normally use the noob tube instead, because I think it's important to be able to bust through walls. As for attachments, well, as you can see on the AR-160, I'm running the hollow, angled grip and the green laser, which is fortunately something I'm a bit more familiar with. But something you guys might notice is pretty unusual for me is that I'm also running the spray desert camo, which I've got to say looks pretty awesome on this gun. On the M9, well, once again, I'm not using any attachments to go with the military theme, but with that being said, I don't think it really needs them. Because in my opinion, the M9 is one of the most vanilla sidearms in the game, so it doesn't really matter what you do with it, it's still going to do okay. Now as for how this loadout performed in game, well I've got to say it actually surprised me because I'd forgotten how good these guns can be. And that's because the AR-160 and the M9 are a lot like the M416 and the P226, which are two of my favourite all-round guns. The big difference is that the AR-160 fires slightly slower than the 416, but as a trade-off it's easier to control and has better muzzle velocity. So in other words, it's not quite as good in close quarters, but on the other hand, it's a little better at long range, which can be more useful on a lot of maps. As for the rest of the loadout, well, I really don't think much needs to be said, but what I will say is that the AR-160 definitely favours a more passive playstyle. 
And that's important when you're trying to be an effective medic because ultimately you need to be the last one left alive to pick everyone else up. So pretty much the only real problem I had with the whole setup was with the RGOs because I've just never really felt right using them. And also when it comes to a medic role I feel like a smoke grenade would be much more useful in real life so I'd probably switch them out for them instead. So all in all I think this is a pretty basic loadout. There's nothing too crazy here and if anything it's probably just a variation of what you already use. But hopefully you can see from these clips that the AR160 is definitely worth playing with if you're sick of the same old boring ARs that everyone seems to use these days. Like I said the only thing I'd probably change is the RGOs and maybe the angled grip on the AR160 because I don't think it really has a huge issue with vertical recoil. But apart from that, it's a pretty solid loadout and it's based on a cool theme. So if you haven't already, then there's really no reason not to give this one a try. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this video. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.